All right, welcome back. We're talking about the Super Eagles now, but uh, like I told you, it is 41 years since we won the Nations Cup on home soil, and that was the very first time we did so. That was made uh, March 22, to be precise, at the National Stadium of Surulere, Lagos. And the good thing is that Eagles are returning back to Lagos, and the federal government is renovating the National Stadium where we won that uh, competition. And one of those that achieved that feat for us, Dr. Felix Owolabi, is standing by to share his thoughts with us. Uh, let me see if we can get across to Dr. Felix Owolabi now. Hello, Doc. Yeah, good evening, sir. All right, uh, congratulations. Uh, it, it is 41 years since we won the Nations Cup. You were part of that team. How does it feel like today, if you want to remember way back, what was it like when you won that uh, competition 41 years ago? Honestly, if you are a friend of mine on Facebook, you see that I, I had to tell the whole world and remind them about that glorious day and that glorious moment of our time when we played and for the very first time we won the Nations Cup for Nigeria. Uh, we were gladdened. I, I am gladdened that uh, by the special grace of God, I am still alive today. And some of my colleagues, like I've said, uh, we want to thank God, use the opportunity to thank God, to thank Nigerians for the support they gave us because uh, that has made us to have a very successful, illustrious football career in our lives. And it has become history that everybody wants to be part of it in that celebration. All right. Thankfully, some of your colleagues are no more. Some of those who won that Nations Cup, your teammates, they are faithfully not uh, uh, with us here on planet Earth. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, but thank God some, some of you, the legends, Christian Chuku, name it, you are, some of you are still alive. We say may the source of the light of Mundalawa rest in peace. How do you feel like uh, uh, still remembering what happened 41 years ago? Uh, we are, I'm only sad that uh, it has not been very possible for the whole lot of the players, I mean my colleagues, who together we won the Nations Cup to be alive today, like Moda Shiro Lawal, Atuebu, Tunde Bamedele, Beso Gedengbe, and a few others. So I use that forum, and I'm using this, also for, uh, this forum also to dedicate uh, uh, that glorious moment and day uh, to the uh, the, the, those of our colleagues who have gone to the great beyond. All right, let's ask you this. Uh, the compensation that you guys got from the then federal government, uh, can you see, put us uh, into the picture of how your team was rewarded? Uh, we're very, very happy. You know, it was a historic day because uh, according to what everybody is saying, that was the very first time Nigeria you know, won the Nations Cup on our own home soil. Uh, that very night, we didn't sleep because before the championship started, very early in the morning, the first match against, before we played uh, Tanzania, uh, the president of that of this country, uh, Elijah Shehu Shagari, his ministers, you know, big, big wits came to the camp. They, they, they dined with us. We took breakfast together. We took a you know, group photograph, and he gave us a message on behalf of Nigerians. And at the end of the day, he told us that everybody was solidly behind us, and that for his government, uh, he cannot tell us what he is going to do now. But if we are able to win the cup for Nigeria, uh, he will do something for us that we will never, never, never have any cause to regret. You know, playing football in our lives. And honestly speaking, to God be the glory. After winning the championship, we were invited to the uh, to the government house in uh, in Lagos. There, there it was Lagos then that time. Mm. Uh, the barracks. And then we, we, we took dinner, and at the end of the day, he had to tell us, you know, giving us all the goodies, a house to every player, a house each, a duplex in the first stack, uh, a car, uh, and some few other things we, we got, and then a national, national honor. So till today, it is something that we feel, or I personally feel, it's worth celebrating in a time I, we have the opportunity uh, to be alive. So, to God be the glory, time. Okay, let's now talk about uh, the lessons to be learned from uh, the out and then. What was it like, the Super Eagles then? And then, how do we draw a lesson so that today's Eagles will be as good as it was way back in 1980? Like I said, I put it on Facebook. And one of our good first-time journalists, a colleague of yours, uh, Mecca Obasi, he, he 
he responded. And do you know what he said? He said at that time it was a genuine eagles. Uh, it, it was not by the selection was not by quota. Selection was not by tribe. Selection was not by religion. Selection was not by you know. And, and in fact, a lot of comments there. So from what Mecca Obasi has you know uh, uh, painted on on that Facebook, it's, it's enough to tell you that during our time, anybody that won the green, white, green jersey deserved it, and that was why he was given the jersey. Mm. For example, I was a very young lad. I've just come out from uh, the secondary school in Kaduna, and the first time I was invited, and that was how I became part and parcel of that team from 1976. So all in, we are saying, all I'm saying is that uh, today it has been a different scenario. You hear that coaches taking money from players before they can wear the national jersey. You are, you are aware that some players have come out in the open to confess that statement. And uh, it's just a pity that uh, such a thing is happening. And if you have that type of scenario in a country like Nigeria, where everybody is always interested in money, not for the services and uh, patriotic zeal, you know, doing the best for Nigeria, I think... Uh, it is so sad, and that's why you find that up till now, uh, the question is, as big as Nigeria is, how many times have we won the Nations Cup? Just three times. Go to Egypt, the Egyptians will tell you they have won in almost about seven or eight times. In Ghana, about five times or thereabout. So I think this is a, it's a, it's a great lesson. It's a great lesson. Nowadays, Chuku or Kala or Degba Memoda, myself, Adele, Kadri Kana, Moda or DA, all of us, you know, we, we, we slept together, we dined together, we played together, we did everything together. Uh, today, Nigeria is, is divided, and that is the problem that even the national team is facing. Because football is about team game, team spirit, and team work. If you are not together, you can hardly get a result. All right, Doc, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on Sportsbee today. We really appreciate this. It's a pleasure. Very, I'm very grateful, and also want to seize this opportunity to thank you for having me. All right, gentlemen, you had Felix Owola be there. Raymond, yeah.